got a light? And a cigarette? <laughs> well, Rachel, I see you've, uh, you've met the boys. Actually, we've already met. Bunny, um, Rachel is the uh, choreographer I was telling you about. Who's renting that uh, commercial space from us on, uh, down in Soho, using it as a studio? Remember? How wonderful. <laughs> boys! <laughs> it's so wonderful you could come and stay. It'd be, I could just eat you with a spoon. Don't. <laughs> now, when did you get out of camp? Two months ago. I've been working for DH all summer long. That's why I'm here every weekend. Yes, my wife is the um, philanthropist of the, of the family. Especially fond of dance, aren't you, dear? DH, um, for, um... Here we go. We have guests. Have oh, yes, yes, the guests. Uh, I see. I see. So, are you two in school or something? I'm at Columbia, and as far as this show's challenge for Igby, we're still waiting to hear back from this really fun parochial school in D.C. Pretends to dream. He's already done the Protestant circuit. Mom must have some compromising photos of the head priest with an altar boy for them to even be considering me. We're all at a bit of a loss. So. Whenever I'm at a loss, I uh, dip into Rilke. Rilke? Oh, that tortures me. Every Christmas, some asshole gives me this copy of Young Poet with this patronizing note on the inside flap about how it's supposed to change my life. Maybe you should read it before you judge it. I'm pretty confident. After all, one of the copies was from you. I'm Oliver, and this is my little brother, Igby. What kind of a name is Igby? It's the kind of a name that someone named Sookie is in no position to question. Sookie? Sookie, where do you go to school? Bennington. Ollie's majoring in neo-fascism at Columbia. Economics. Semantics. What's your major? Attitude. I've got to get back to the bar. That's where I'm headed. Oh, catch you kids later. DH brings you up a lot. Captain Charisma is my godfather. I know. So, if something horrible, God Thanks. forbid, were to befall my mother, I would come and live with him and Bunny. I know what godparents are. So you're ripping apart my potential home. My being here offends you? No, no, your being here is great. I have no choice. No, really, I think you're great. I really do. Thank you. It's him bringing you here that tortures me. I love the fact that the captain of the morality team invites his chick to the same party as his wife, who, let's face it, isn't the sharpest tool in the shed anymore. And what's more, none of their supposed mutual friends protects her. None of them bats a fucking eyelash at his hypocrisy, and I love that, I really do. Embrace your moral hypocrisy, DH. Go for it. 